Hey everyone, Matt with Optics Force, and today we're going to talk about a favorite subject of ours, which is properly torquing your scope bases and your scope rings. So there's a reason for that, and not just because the manufacturer tells you to. Scope based torque is critical, well, basically for one main reason, which is you don't want to snap off, you know, the screw in the receiver, because then you got to, of course, you know, find some way to get that out. Also importantly is a lot of receivers can be aluminum. And if you over torque, you could possibly strip the threads in the receiver. So like this Browning BAR, it's got aluminum receiver. And so we certainly don't want to over torque the base screws, you know, cause then you gotta basically become a he helicoil expert and nobody needs that. Of course, when torquing the scope base, you wanna go in a crisscross pattern or, you know, forward and backward, you know, as you can. And this will also help properly seat the base. But again, more importantly, you just want to make sure that you apply the proper torque. So you basically want to cinch everything down for the most part, fairly snug, and then go back and make sure all the fasteners are set to the proper torque. Now, an easy way to do that is to use a torque limiter, such as this one by Fixit Sticks, which will essentially quit turning once the proper torque is reached. Now, you absolutely can use the L-shaped, you know, Torx key or Allen key that comes with most scope bases and scope rings. You just want to be careful, okay, because with that little wrench, it is in fact possible to over torque your scope bases and scope rings. So, you just want to be cognizant of that. When it comes to scope rings, the proper torque is actually a lot more critical. Now, the reason for that is not for worrying about snapping off the fasteners or damaging the rings. Rather, it's actually so you don't damage the scope. So what you don't want to do is cinch the rings down to the point where you start to affect these internals of the rifle scope. You want to keep round things round. And if you over torque the rings, you can actually deform the tube. You can limit travel of the erector tube. And you can actually damage some parts and some lenses. These things are designed with extremely tight tolerances. And if they wanted the tube basically crimped like the shape of a football, they would probably do that. So that's why the proper torque in your scope rings is so critical. Now, again, we're gonna use this fix it six torque limiter. It's set at 25 inch pounds, or it's, it is a 25 inch pound torque limiter. You know, and again, you can use the L-shaped key, but the important thing is you just wanna make sure that you follow the manufacturer's recommended specifications. And you should be just fine as to not damage or affect the performance of your rifle scope. So one thing you'll notice is that when the rings are properly torqued, we'll have a gap between the ring cap and the ring body, at least on one side. Now, if you take your time, you can even get that gap even on both sides of the ring. That's not critical, but you wanna make sure that both sides of the ring caps are not touching, because that's where you basically run the chance of either compressing your scope tube and you know deforming it a little bit, in extreme cases, you can actually damage the scope tube and literally put a permanent crimp in it. So that's basically it, kind of the overview of the reason why it's really critical to properly torque your scope rings and bases. But, you know, go ahead and give the blog a read. Uh, it has a little bit more detail on why that's critical and, and some tips and tricks on how you can achieve the proper torque, okay? Thanks a lot.